Hey. Action! Hey. hey! What's up, YouTube? Hello, wonderful world of YouTubing. How, how's everybody quarantined? Yeah, I am sitting here with my X-Men superhero how's shirt your, on. How's your coronation going? My coronation is going good. Would you call good. it a coronation or coronation? I call it a coronation. 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 All right. Yes. Almost like Californication, but coronation. There's a song there somewhere, isn't there? Yes. Yeah. I just got to figure out the lyrics. He won't let me trim it. She better back off. He won't off. let me trim this it. This is my coronation Duck Dynasty starter kit. <laughs> yes. Welcome to Coffee with the Masons. Yeah, we have coffee. And we are the Masons. Yay. Yay. Well, look, look, I got a little bit of skin color going on. Yeah, I think I got a little sun. Ooh, baby. baby. Look out. This is a really pretty day. It actually reminds me of, you know, September 12th. Yeah. No planes flying. No planes flying. No chemtrails. No contrails. No con chemtrails. No chem, chem September twelfth, two thousand one. Two thousand one. Yep. Uh, that was one of the first days in my life you could ever look up in the sky and not see a plane. Yep. I actually looked up today and saw one non-commercial little puddle jumper flying. Looked like a local. Probably was from the airport over there. Yeah. Yeah. So. Trust everybody's having a good day. It's a beautiful day. A good quarantine afternoon. Are you staying sane? Um, are we are barely, the walls? barely, barely st uh, sane. We are not climbing the walls yet. We haven't jumped down each other's throat yet. I did get onto the cat. Yeah, well, in <laughs> in her defense, the geriatric cat likes to hover around your feet when you're in the kitchen. He will get on your feet. He thinks he's going to get a morsel, and when you step on him. He has the audacity to scream bloody murder. to scream at you and blame you for stepping on him for being under your feet. And there I was, alone with my thoughts. I've got a little PTSD from um, Keto. Uh, from life, and well, he started yelling, and it triggered me. <laughs> Get out of my kitchen! Ah! I mean, she yelled so bad at that cat. I felt bad, man. I wasn't going nowhere near a kitchen. So, so in in my time at home. I'm taking some time to work on some little projects. Well, it's hard to do anything today because yeah, everything I, I wanted so to do in the rain. yard. I mean, we've got still got puddles out there. I want to work on a little chicken tractor and get get it set up for the new chickens, but can't because it's in a puddle this deep. That's no exaggeration, and I can't get out there to it just yet. Um, the geese are loving it. They love this wet weather. But, they are um, so happy but, right um, now. I have this machete. I'll hold up one side. That's what the machete looked like. It looks like looked not looked looks okay so i've been working on the other side a little bit and as i reveal it ooh, ooh. It's, i'm trying to return it to its original sheen and and it got that bad because he left it out in the weather well no it was already that bad this was one of the ones that we um had acquired from the old house in chattanooga oh okay yeah yeah. yeah 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 so it's it looked bad and it still looks bad but i'm working on it all it takes is a little bit of elbow grease and wire wheel on my drill motor. And I've got several of those. I hope, hope the dog's not playing behind the door. But anyway, that's what I'm working on today. And I've got a, I've got a couple other tools in there that I acquired over the last six years that are just as bad. And I'm going to work on them too. So, you know, got to find something to do to stay busy here during this uh, chaotic time. So, for the 14 little chicken nuggets that are in our bathroom. Uh-huh, mm-hmm. That can escape there. I got them. I got. I had a little dog crate. I'm like, oh, this will be perfect. Set it up. Brought them home. Put them in. They can sneak out the side and poop on the kitchen Walk right floor. out. Walk right back in. So I, I finally got them corralled, but not before they made a horrible mess that I can't clean up till they're gone. But they can't stay there for more than. Uh, we've already had them a week. Yeah. And they're still tiny. Yeah, they're little oh, bitty babies. Oh, they're tiny. Yeah. So he's going to have to build them another coop. Oh, and yeah. we've got some plywood left over from a project we never got to. And we actually took a walk out to the barn today to see if there was any usable materials out there. And uh, not really. It's kind of rough out there. Yeah, I mean, everything's waterlogged and... and you know. it, was an, it was nice to go for a walk. Yeah, it was. It was. I seen some stuff on the back side of the property that I could probably get to. And we give it one good day to dry out. This, I think it's supposed to be dry today, tomorrow, and the day after. So by tomorrow and the day after, I should be able to get some more outside work done. Maybe do a little bit of filming on some of that. I've been thinking um, about ways to save money. Uh-huh. Uh -huh. That's one of my things I've been working on. Oh, she's been working on it, too. Working on my nerves while she's working on it. 
Mm, yeah, yeah, um, I would agree with that. Yeah. But our, our stove isn't working right now. We we got a new to us stove and uh, the top works fabulous. In fact, it works better than the other stove we have. Oh, a lot better. The stove stove is not working. So I called up my daughter and uh, I'm actually going to, we have meat, she has an oven. So <clears throat> she's going to cook it up for us and split the meat in half. Oh yeah, I got a big old ham. I see she don't eat ham. She don't eat pork. So I got a half a ham coming. Yeah. Ooh, la, la. yeah. Now I did clean out the deep freezer. Well, I won't say clean out. I reorganized the deep freezer and we ran into more bread and bologna than I thought was even possible. I like to buy bread and bologna. Thank you. I love to eat bread and bologna. Mm -hmm. I got a lot. Lot. It's nice. Yeah, oh, you cleaned out the room the other day and you found a couple useful items, including a pack of batteries. Yes, I did. Triple A's. Yeah, I cleaned out a closet and found... We've been trying to keep yeah, ourselves found busy. Found some clothes, found some stuff that I liked. Yeah. We have been. Um, found some more uh, T-posts that I can pull up from the backside of the property and extend the uh, goose pasture out some I more. Meant to, I meant to brag on you about that... Uh, I, I oh, came, my trellis. Yeah, the trellis you made out of recycled materials. Yeah. I came home with two grapevines the other day that just demanded to be brought home and... I've actually got two more grape plants over there. I'm not sure they made it through the winter yet. Or through the geese. Goose through feeding. the geese and the winter. Yeah. And uh, he said he's he's good. He can. It's a beautiful trellis. It looks fabulous. I, I'm just tickled to death about it. Hmm? Yeah, absolutely tickled to death. She said she wanted a trellis, so she got a trellis. Mm -hmm. It didn't take that long either. So I've been hanging out um, laundry to dry instead of putting it in the dryer. Yeah, I would actually like to put up a better laundry line somewhere it's fine right now i don't know but it's it's yeah. another another goal of mine yeah. since i've got all this downtime now i did talk to one of the supervisors at work earlier today i sent him a text message i said is there any uh word on when we're going back to work and he said right now as far as he's heard it's still monday so we're we're hopeful we're hopeful oh he tried to he's he works in one state and lives in another so he filed for unemployment in one state no problem but he's got to have do some clerical stuff on in our state and the system's been absolutely swamped with with people claiming unemployment yeah, and, then, and then and then the local office I actually got a hold of somebody at the local office he had a little temper changer <laughs> you keep on me and I'm like oh look somebody's on the phone in less than a minute you're welcome I was in but, shock that I was actually talking to a live person <laughs> but then they couldn't help him anyways because first their computer did, was down and then we had storms last night. And, and they, they were struck they by struck lightning. They struck by lightning. Yeah. <laughs> Cheers. Whoa, is me. Whoa, it's me. <laughs> Other than that, though, things are just peachy. Just peachy. Um, uh, we got a roof over our head. Roof over our head. I've been, on. I've been keeping up with these. Uh, I've, I've been, I've got old man syndrome. You have. You've turned into your dad. I've turned into my dad. He's am... watching C stand. <laughs> Yeah, Senate hearings live, and I can't get enough of it. You know, they're supposed to be voting on a relief package, and they finally agreed on the Senate side, but now it's got to go back through the House. Ugh, oh, they're killing me with this, with this. It's supposed to send relief to each and every working family in the country. It's supposed to raise, what they're calling it is unemployment insurance on steroids. It's supposed to raise the weekly benefit amount that you're able to draw by several hundred dollars. By several hundred dollars, which would, oh my gosh, it would be so helpful. But it's it's sort of painstaking to watch because they are, one side wants this. I mean, one side wants so um, much pork. Carbon, carbon footprints for airlines in a relief package for beer flu. I mean, how is that going to help us if, if the airlines aren't flying, but yet you want a carbon footprint of it and you want that information? available to every flying passenger right right there next to the the departure time the arrival time and the carbon footprint that'll help us out that'll hey, help us get through the beer flu it's absolutely the skies are beautiful though without anybody flying the oh skies yeah are gorgeous. i mean i can i can scan it's beautiful 180 degrees and there's nothing so i've been hanging up laundry to dry we've got this the, the only thing drawing a whole lot of electricity right now is the heat lamp for the chicken nuggets. Yeah, it's going to be kind of touch and go when the bill comes, but I mean, it is what it but is. But I'm hanging up laundry to compensate. We we haven't used, it gets down in the 40s at night, 40s I mean, I'm and not 50s. even gaming. I mean, yeah. it's, it gets down in the 40s and 50s, and we we have insulated windows now, and <clears throat> the house stays warm. Mm -hmm. We don't mm -hmm. even, we're not using the AC or the heat. Mm -hmm. 
All right. Okay. No leftovers. Everything's everything's getting consumed. Mm -hmm. No left. Oh yeah, we went through some beans and rice, a whole crock pot full, and I destroyed them. Now what are we making today? Oh, we're gonna make um homemade little pizza bites, sort of. Yeah. Ooh, you know what I've got in there? What? Pepperoni. Da, da, is it defrosted? Nope, like I can defrost it. I know, wow. I'm, I'm qualified. Oh, well, you can put onion on mine. Yeah, I even know how to do that. Ooh. Hey, no, hey. No, no, wait, wait, wait. The the side that's got all the, the, the spices on it, are you going to cook that on the bottom or turn it over and cook that on the top? The part of the bread that's got the spices or on it? Or are you going to make like a chapita, chalupa, chalupa, you know, one of those things where you like... Make the thing and then fold it over and make a sandwich. Um, oh, you mean like a calzone? Like a baby oh, calzone? Oh, I think I just had a moment. I think you did. Oh, my gosh. Oh, you just discovered something new. We're going to try. No, no, but that's what the the pizza place is doing. The, you know, the what the Little Caesars. They're making that pizza where they take the pizza and then fold it over. Oh, we can We can, we can try our own version. You doggone right. Oh, you dang right. Yay! <laughs> that's why I need her on my team. Because, uh. Oh, oh right. Yeah. <laughs> I've been going for a lot of walks. Me too. For a I walk. walk from the kitchen to the, the the living room to the bedroom. Sometimes I'll stop at the bathroom. Sometimes I'll go all the way through and then have to come back to the bathroom. And then I'll go out to the garage every now and then. Back to the living room. And then from the chair to the couch because when she watches TV, she's got to be in the chair. I don't know why. I guess the angle of the refracted light mm -hmm. it's, it's better yeah. if it's yeah. right in front yeah. of you or something i don't, don't know don't you have a thing a thing oh a you thing. want me to go ahead and read yeah okay this is from paul's letter to the colossians chapter three if ye then be risen with christ seek those things which are above where christ sitteth on the right hand of god what, what does that mean to you means that uh Worldly things are right here with you. If you be risen with Christ, if you're born again believer, then seek the things that are of heaven. That's good advice. Mm -hmm. You were out in the world one time. Mm -hmm. Twice. Two I, times I, a lady. I, I'd say I lived a little while out in the world. Mm -hmm. I was a little mm -hmm. lost at here and there. I mean, you know, everybody, that's yeah. that's the reason we need God is because yep. everybody has an issue. Yeah. Everybody has a skeleton. Everybody has a crate that they have all of their problems in. Mm -hmm. Don't don't think for a second that I put my issues above anybody's because in the eyes of God, all sin is equal. I struggle with that one. I don't. I struggle with that one. I don't. Because the, the, the greatest commandment is love the Lord God with all your heart, all your soul, and all your mind. I don't and the second one is, second, not a different commandment, but, you know, next in sequence is to love your neighbor as yourself. I don't like them, but you gotta love them. Our church neighbors, we love them. No, no, we gotta love every, all the neighbors. We can, I can respectfully uh, not bother them if they don't bother me. I respectfully leave them to their their own because, uh, <laughs> you know, we never know what tender brings to their doorstep. Oh Lord. I'm leaving that alone. I'm not going to rehash that because that's something I saw that I cannot unsee. Yeah, I mean, what do you? Do? Here's the here. Okay. You struggle with words. Wait, that's wait, what wait, you wait, do. Wait. What what happens if you're in the middle of the apocalypse and you're halfway through a gender trans transformation? I mean, the top part's all done, but the bottom part you ain't finished yet. I think that I think they started That's, with the bottom part. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. What, what do you do if you're halfway down and the world collapses? Call yourself Steve Oof. again instead of Stephanie. Oof. Oof. <laughs> all right. Well, anyways. I'm glad we threw that in there <laughs> because. Wow. I mean, inquiring minds want to know what do you do. I mean, not at all. No, no, I'm an inquiring mind, and I had no thought of that whatsoever. Hey, 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 knock it off out there. Ah. Ah. I love those ah. They're so beautiful today. They're, They're majestic. They're, yeah, they are. Damn. All right. Thanks for watching. Like, share, subscribe. Leave a comment. Don't like, share, subscribe. Don't leave a comment. Leave a comment. All one or two of you that actually watch these videos, but they make us happy to make them. We got 37 subscribers, go. so. It makes us happy to make the darn thing. Doggone right. Peace out, guys, Peace and out. we'll Take see you care. the next time. Bye.